Welcome everybody to our virtual band awards ceremony. And part of the reason I wanted to do this was because I just wanted to uh, kind of have a platform for everybody to be recognized for a lot of the different things that we did throughout the school year um, and give them some of that recognition. We normally would get a chance to do this at our contest concert that we do um, in, in May every year. Um, but being that we didn't get a chance to do that, I just wanted to make sure we did it here in a virtual format. So we're going to walk through kind of the year and then we're going to give away some awards at the end and, and, and have that recognition for, for those students. So just a couple things to keep in mind as we kind of go through here. So um, if you guys could keep your audio on mute, and I think everybody's that way right now. And so you, if you want to speak, um, and then this will help limit all the background noise that we encounter. And after awards are given, feel free to use like the applause icon or thumbs up icon um, if you want to say, you know, recognize um, them for any achievements. And then please use the uh, public chat box if you wish to congratulate someone. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to make that a like for, to everybody, I think you can just pick specific um, people um, and just just know that that'll be monitored. Um, so just be aware of that. And then put your video on if you would be so kind. Um, you don't have to, but we'd love to see your happy face. And so we're gonna get started. So the journey begins and we're gonna look back at a successful year. It, yes, it was short um, and much shorter than we would have liked it to be, but it was a very successful year for the band. So marching band, just to talk a little bit about what went on with marching band. So the marching band season started off um, um, with great success and kind of just um, went forward and we found tons of success um, in our new show you know we did Pirates of the Caribbean and um, it was the first year in using professionally written marching band drill and it was a lot of fun to get to to get to uh, perform the show um, yes it was more difficult and but I think the show in general the concept the art um, was all um, very cool and, and it I'm sure it was enjoyable for our students to, to get a chance to be, be part of all that. And we, we also took part in our, our parades around the area, the Christmas parade where we light up all the horns and uh, we remember back to that point. And, and we also were part of uh, Canal Days where we traveled to, to my hometown and got to play our annual kickball game that um, I, my team lost once again. Um, Ms. Lewis's team beat me. That's okay. I'm not better or anything. But overall, marching band season was a great success. Um, we had a lot of fun and um, a great show concept. Um, moving on to pep band, you know our pep band um, year once again another another success. We had we had tons of students involved in our pep band uh, this season, and um, I know for me sometimes pep band is just a fun um, place to be. It's a good hang on a Friday or Saturday night. Um, just very relaxed. It's always a lot of fun. Um, and our pep band has, has traditionally every year been, been one of the high points of our, of our season. Um, looking forward into concert band, you know, this is one of those spots where, you know, we only had two concerts this year, but in those two concerts, um, man, we grew and, and we, we, we communicated some great music to our audiences. Um, Christmas concert was a success. And then rolling into concert band season, I, it's, it's unfortunate we didn't get a chance to perform at large group contests because we would have fared very well. Um, you know, when we got the email that we weren't going to large group contests, I think we were in the middle of a very, a very uh, serious rehearsal um, in preparation. I think that was on like a Wednesday before contest. But we played some great, great literature this year, um, especially Cajun folk songs, um, which was not an easy feat by any means, and the band tackled that. Um, very well. And then jazz band. Um, a lot of stuff we can talk about with jazz band. You know, I always think back to like having a gig, I think it was like in late September, and we performed at the airport. And that was one of the first times we've gotten a gig that early in the season. So trying to work up all that music in that short amount of time um, was a lot of fun. And, and that kind of just catapulted us into the rest of the season. Um, of course, culminating with our performance at the University of Louisville at their jazz festival, and it was um, one of one of the high points I think of the year for those students, um, and not just the barbecue 
um, food, even though, you know, I, I, I will say um, for me, um, having an entire jazz band sing happy birthday to me um, when it's not my birthday at a barbecue place in Louisville, Kentucky was just, was just an honor. Um, so great year for the jazz band as well. And if you haven't had a chance, um, I sent a link through the band app and I want to say it's been posted on the district's Facebook page. If you haven't had a chance to watch the band movie that I put together, um, that's just highlighting pictures and that whole sort of thing. Um, please check that out. Um, it's, it, it took a little while to get together, but it, but it highlights our seniors and highlights our season um, and kind of sums up everything I've been talking about. So if you had a, haven't had a chance to check that out, um, check out one of those spots, either the band app or the district Facebook page. And if you still can't find it, uh, reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to point you in the right direction. So I, I, I really think it's important to highlight when we, when we look at marching band season, our field commanders. So I first want to recognize um, Kylie Fansler and Alicia Jenkins. It's no easy um, task to step in and, and become a leader of the marching band. Um, and I think our junior field commanders did it um, at, at a high level. I mean, it, it, um, it seemed so seamless um, to add – so we had three total field commanders and, and it helped with our, with our marching band drill. It helped with our rehearsals. Um, it streamlined all of that. So thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Kylie. You guys were great all year, <clears throat> but, but I want to even say most importantly, Cameron, it takes, and I think Cameron's on here. Um, Cameron, it takes a great leader um, and someone that works hard um, to put in the effort um, that it takes to, you know, run a marching band, you know, and, and, and work on those rehearsals and, and work with those junior field commanders and, and go out there every Friday night and put on a great show. And it, and it starts, it starts with your hard work and leadership. Um, and it kind of just trickle down, trickles down from there. So, um, thank you so much for um, your dedication to the program, your hard work. And I can't say enough. It's, it's going to be, it's, it's not going to be the same without you next year, but I know Kylie and Alicia, um, we'll do a great job and kind of continue the tradition we've had of some <clears throat> excellent field commanders over the years. So thank once, thanks once again, field commanders, for everything you've done for the program. You can't do it, we can't do it without you. So thank you very much. So I want to take a second to honor those students that are in Tri-M Honor Society. Um, we have our officers that were part of band. Uh, Bailey Manns, Vice President, Emily Hill, Secretary, uh, Alicia Jenkins, Historian. And then we have, and then you'll see a list of all of our Tri-M members that are involved in band. Um, so I'm going to give you a second if you'd like to look through that list. Once again, a great um, honor society for our musicians um, unfortunately, this year we didn't do as much as on a typical year because we didn't have the full year. We do a lot of things in the spring, um, but it was, it was a successful uh, season nonetheless. So thank you, Tri-M um, Honor Society members. Let's move on to our Solo and Ensemble Awards. Solo and Ensemble um, every year has been traditionally a really positive event for our students. Um, I'm always proud of, of what these musicians accomplish throughout, for many of them, throughout all four years of high school. And to those that this is your first year performing, we had a great year once again in solo and ensemble. So we're gonna recognize those solo performers that received an excellent rating at solo and ensemble. We had Lily Carmer on trombone, class B. We had Ryan, McCorm Ryan McCormick, who did a four mallet marimba solo in class C. We had Anna Blake on alto sax, Annika Simovart, who took a Class A horn solo, and Emily Hill, who took a Class A flute solo, Avery Lane, who took a Class C piano solo, and we had Hannah Gallimore, who took a Class C bass clarinet solo. So congratulations to all those students receiving an excellent rating on their perform solo performances at Solo and Ensemble Contest. Um, these next individuals will be solo performances receiving a superior rating, a one, um, so we had Emily Hill with a piano solo in Class B, Ava Graham with a piano solo in Class B, uh, Josie Davis, piano solo Class B, we had Lily Rodriguez, 
a flute solo in class C. Taylor Lafferty um, received a one on her horn solo in class C. Bailey Manns, uh, timpani solo in class B. I think that was Double Stop Copper Top. It was like one of my favorite names for a solo. And then uh, Avery Lane, oboe solo, class C. Uh, Josie Davis, once again, on harp, class B. Bryce Shump, trumpet, class C. Davis Downing on that class A euphonium solo. Um, and then Isaac Napier, trumpet, class C. And then Georgie Anute, uh, Tacoma one on his bass clarinet solo in class B. So congratulations to all those solo performers receiving a superior rating. Well done. And then we had, we had a couple ensembles. So our flute quartet, consisting of Thea Downing, Ava Graham, Emily Hill, and Avery Lane. Congrats on your excellent rating in Class B. And then we also had a um, trumpet trio that went in Class B, Davis Downing, Ashley Gant, and Bryce Shump. You received a superior rating. So congratulations to our ensemble participants. And then once again, another congratulations to all of our solo performers at Solo and Ensemble, all ones and twos. And um, if you compile them all up, you know, more, more ones than twos. And, and when, you, when you can come out of Solo and Ensemble with more superior ratings and excellent ratings, uh, and, and, and specifically ones and twos, um, that's saying something for how hard these students work and, and, the, uh, and the musicianship that they carry forth um, into the, into the uh, adjudication. So I'm proud of all of those performers um, at Solo and Ensemble this year. Okay, we also had some students participate in OMEA District 11 Honor Band. Um, and the participa participants that are pictured there, um, we have Davis Downing who uh, played the euphonium, Emily Hill on flute, Avery Lane on oboe, and Georgie Anute on bass clarinet. And I want to say, if I remember back, because it's forever ago, I do want to recognize um, Georgie and Davis um, for sitting first chair um, in their sections. So congratulations to them as well. That's, that's an honor in itself to make honor band and then to sit first chair, that's, that's a distinction as well. So congratulations to all our OMEA District 11 honor band participants. Moving on, uh, OMEA District 11 Honor Jazz Band, we had six participants. Um, we had Anna Blake on alto saxophone. We had Lily Carmer on trombone. We had Josie Davis on piano. Gavin Gibson on bass. Joseph Julik on the lead tenor saxophone. And Bryce Shump on trumpet. And um, you know, Josie and Gav, congrats, because those spots are not easy to get because there's very few of those, and then congrats again to Joseph for, for the lead tenor spot. Um, and, and everybody that performed um, did great. And I get the honor of actually conducting these musicians for this, for this honor band, and, and it, it's a lot of fun every year, and it's great to make some, some music. Um, so congratulations to both the OMEA District 11 Honor Jazz Band participants and the OMEA District 11 Honor Band participants. Well done. We always have a great representation. Okay, so moving on to the jazz band this year, got a chance to go to the University of Louisville Jazz Festival. Um, and the University of Louisville Jazz Festival is held at the um, School of Music. It's actually part of the Jamie Abersold um, Jazz Studies Program, named after the great Jamie Abersold. That's a uh, kind of a legend in the jazz education world. And the students actually got to um, watch one of his workshops and uh, finally get to meet the man that I talk about all the time in class. Um, so that was, that was uh, an experience uh, in itself. But we, we had a great showing at the University of Louisville. And I do want to recognize those students who got outstanding performer awards um, from the Louisville School of Music um, for the performance that day. Um, so we had Joseph Julik um, on tenor sax, Max Leeser on guitar, Robert Leeser on drum set, Cameron Mathis on voice, and Bryce Shump on trumpet. Um, so congratulations to all of them. Um, they got to work in a clinic with Bob Lark um, from, the universe, or from DePaul University in Chicago, and nothing but compliments. Um, I know we were uh, right out of his mouth. I know we were in the running of being, you know, getting a chance to possibly be an encore ensemble to open for the University of Louisville that evening. We didn't get it. 
um, but just so proud of, of, of these students that are, you know, it's, it's great to get outside of Logan County and, and showcase what we do here, in, uh, here at Benjamin Logan musically. So congratulations to all of them. And then quick question for them, just because I want to know for my own sanity. Did you hand in those awards back to me and I was going to put your name on them? Or did you end up keeping them that day? Because if you did not, I need to get those awards um, printed and, and given back to you. So maybe if you can leave a comment with Miss Lewis um, so that I know whether or not you received those awards or I still have them because I would like to get them to you if you have not. Um, and then going back to Solomon Ensemble, um, with everything going on, we weren't able to get pins for everybody, but the plan is to make sure you get those pins. Um, so we will get those ordered, even if it is into next year, um, when everything opens and we can get those, um, we'll make sure we find a way to get you your solo and ensemble um, superior and excellent pins um, for, for those events. So, so congratulations to the University of Louisville Jazz Festival Outstanding Performers. All right. OMEA has various honor ensembles that, for instance, Josie could take part in. Um, and I know Josie worked very hard um, practicing and, and getting prepared for an audition for OMEA Southwest Region Orchestra, and she was accepted. And so I want to congratulate Josie Davis for um, participating in the Southwest Region Orchestra. And with that being said, she was chosen um, to be part of the OMEA All-State Band. Um, these are the top ensembles in the state of Ohio, and she got to play harp in the All-State Band. Um, so congratulations to her, and um, her name goes up on a plaque in the, in the band room. We've got an All-State plaque, and uh, forever to be hanging on that wall. Um, so congratulations to Josie for both OMEA Southwest Region Orchestra and OMEA All-State Band. Okay, so... Our next set of awards are our senior awards, and you know, these awards are um, given to uh, members of the jazz band or members of the concert band. Um, and our first award this evening that I'd like to present um, is the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. And Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was inaugurated, I'm just reading this, in 1974 with the consent of his widow shortly after the great jazz artist died in 71. Um, it honors the outstanding jazz musician at each high school. Um, and this year's Louis Armstrong Jazz Award goes to Joseph Julik. Joseph Julik. Um, and I got to tell you, that's one of the best, uh, one of the, the hippest uh, tenor sax pictures to, to maybe ever exist. If any of these award winners would like to say something, um, they're more than welcome to. So, Joseph, if you want to say anything right now, you can. Um, so I'm going to pause momentarily to give you a chance to do that. If you want to take your mic off mute. I don't have any, uh, prepared remarks. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, uh, I, thanks. I guess it's been fun. Uh, been a very fulfilling experience and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to be on the wall in among, <laughs> among such great company. The wall of fame, man. And, and, um, do you, um, and you plan on continuing to play next year, right? Just, uh, I'm not sure how, but, uh, I would like to, I haven't yeah. got that quite figured out yet. Yep. Uh, cool. I think I'm going to keep playing. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, Hey, thanks, man. Well, hey, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All uh, right. Do I, do I remute myself now? Yeah, why don't you remute yourself and we'll and we'll, right. we'll, 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 we'll work on that. So the Semper Fidelis Award um, for Musical Excellence is presented by the United States Marine Foundation, Youth Foundation, and the Marine Corps League in recognition of diligence, dedication, and musical excellence as a performing high school bandsman and soloist. And so this year, and they always have me give out two uh, Semper Fidelis Awards to seniors. And this year's awards, um, first award goes to Bailey Manns. And the second award goes to Rachel Mears. So do Bailey or Rachel want to say anything? Bailey is shaking her head no. 
That would be okay. What about Rachel? I cannot see Rachel. Okay. Um, I just want to say thanks. Um, I never thought that I would have gotten a senior award because I haven't been in band for as long as everybody else. So, thanks for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, I'm done. You're good. All right, and we're gonna move on. So our next con our concert band awards. Um, our first award is the Patrick S. Gilmore Band Award. Um, the Gilmore Award was introduced in '94 in honor of the legendary bandmaster um, Gilmore and his band joined General Burnside's expedition to North Carolina in the Civil War, and he also played for every president of his day. This award is given to sort of our top instrumentalist, um, and this year's recipient of the Patrick S. Gilmore Award goes to Emily Hill. And does Emily want to say anything? I'm waiting to see. Um, I can't, oh, here she's coming up, it looks like. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Emily. All right. And our next award is the John Philip Sousa Band Award. Um, introduced in 1955 to honor the top student in high school band. The Sousa Band Award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. And so our our final award, this is our final big award of the evening, um, goes to Davis Downing. Congratulations, Davis. And just want to see if you want to say anything. Hello? Hello? Yeah, we, yep, we can hear you. Yeah, we, we can hear you. Okay. I'd just like to say thanks, and it's been a blast being in band. Great. Well, thank you, Davis. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. So congratulations to all of our award winners and, and to all of our students that um, put forth, um, you know, that above and beyond effort um, into, into what they were doing um, throughout the school year. Um, I also want to quickly recognize um, Davis and Emily one more time. Um, they are planning on going into music next year. And so anytime we have music majors, it's, uh, I'd like to just take a second to, to recognize them. Um, they're going to they're gonna go into battle um, with their instrument over the next four years, um, as I like to call it. It's a love-hate relationship as you, as you diligently start practicing. Um, but to me, it's one of the most rewarding things that you can do. Um, and for all those seniors that are going to continue playing, and, and I hope you all are, um, it's, it really is fulfilling, and it's a lifelong endeavor that, that never gets old. It's, it's always fun, and Ms. Lewis, I'm sure, can attest it's, it's one of the most enjoyable things we do, um, and, it's, and it's great to make art um, come to life. So congratulations to Davis and Emily um, for majoring in music. And then just to close out our night, I want to do a couple things. Like I want to talk a little bit about a little bit. And then I also want to give the seniors a chance if they want to say any last things um, before we end the session. Um, they can start plotting in their minds whether they want to say anything or not, if they're too afraid. Um, that's completely up to them, but I'll talk first if it makes them feel better. And, and once again, like you don't have to, this is our first time doing this. So by no means do you need to say anything lengthy. Um, it could be just something simple you want to say to the underclassmen or something you want to reflect on. It's completely, it's completely up to you. Um, but, you know, to, to talk a little bit myself, um, you guys are awesome. Um, it's, been, it's been a great four years. Um, and whereas it was unfortunate that this year um, wasn't its full length, um, Looking back at even this PowerPoint presentation and the band video um, that was put out, it is amazing what we did this year in in less than a full school year. Um, sure, we had we had we had a big concert left. We had contests. We had 
We had some we had improvising a cure, some of those things we missed, but, but the things you guys accomplished um, in, in the short amount of time, the leadership you showed, the musicianship you showed, um, did not go unnoticed by me. By me. Um, you are truly a special class, and, and you know, if anything, it gives me renewed hope um, that, that moving forward, a, a class such as yours that can accomplish so much in so little amount of time um, we'll, we'll find nothing more than success. And, and I think from Miss Lewis and I both, you know, we wish you all, all the best luck as you move forward. And as I, as I tell each senior class, you know, my email and, 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 and is always open and, and my phone, you know, is always open. If you need to talk, if you need references, if you need recommendations, um, or anything like that, or if you just need, need some advice, um, for what it's worth, um, I'm, I'm always free and, and open to talk and uh, I will, I will miss all of you um, for, for who you were because ultimately, you know, a great band has, has a great deal of a great amount, a great different amount of personalities and those personalities work together to create something that's truly um, remarkable. And, and this year was no different. Um, you, you put together a campaign that, consisted of nothing but the best for our program and uh you continue to kind of pay forward um to continue that excellence that that our program has come to stand for so from me uh thank you so much for for everything you've done for the program and uh your community um, because ultimately music is community so thank you um very much for everything you've done so at this point um, if any seniors want to speak or talk, um, the floor is yours. So if any seniors want to talk, if you don't want to, that's fine too. I'd just like to say thank you for pushing me to be, be the best musician I can be. And I wouldn't even be playing baritone if you hadn't asked me to. And it's just crazy how far I've gotten. Well, I can't remember when I did that. Well, I can't remember when I did that. <laughs> that was uh, the end of marching band year, my freshman year. You asked me if I could play baritone. Oh, okay. See, I lose track of all these things. <laughs> if I could just interject and uh, make one important clarification. Uh, I walked into the band room uh, after some sort of soccer event and you said that we need a baritone for a concert band. And I said, why not Davis? I said, Davis would be a great pick. So I'm, I'm just, you know, clearing that up. Uh, <laughs> putting my name on that. Making taking, sure we're all on the same page. Taking some credit. Of course. Yeah. All right. That's all I have to say. All right. Hi. I just wanted to say hi to everybody. And thanks to everyone for being like, really good bandmates and seeing life. So thanks to everybody for being cool and being friends. <laughs> okay. Well, hi guys. It was a good season. It really was. It was a good season. I had fun. Thanks for being a cool band. It was a good time. Oh, you're welcome, Cameron. You did great. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. I love you all. You're all my, all my friends. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for our virtual awards night. And we really appreciate um, you taking the time to be part of it. Um, I know... I know I'm thankful for all the work all of you that are involved here put in to the band this year. And, and for those of you who, who are not seniors and you'll be around again next year, um, I'm looking forward to another great season. So thanks once again. And I also, real quick before we leave, want to say thank you to uh, Miss Lewis um, because, let's face it, couldn't make it happen without her. And also thank you to Jacob Knight, our color guard instructor, because I can't say enough great things about what the color guard did this year um, and, and his leadership. And then I also want to say thank you to Dennis Kreitz, our drumline instructor. Um, and, and so on behalf of our whole staff, uh, thank you. Thank you band for all your hard work and dedication this year.
um, I mean, it really does. I mean, you guys make it run, not us, you know. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for coming in and watching. And uh, we will see you around. Talk to you later.